All right, what's up, everybody? We're back. We broke into Grahoth's fortress. So now we're going to confront Grahoth himself. Suddenly, with the thunderous boom, the walls around you dissolve and reform, leaving you standing in the middle of a huge arced chamber. All around you, dancing skeletons cackle and cavort and occasionally trace skulls. In front of you all stands the largest demon of them all. Graha, Lord of the Infernal Regions. He nods. I know you. You freed me, and you came to me exactly as I predicted. It is time, at last, for this game to come to an end. I've wasted enough time on you. Once I had this realm to myself, all these caves were mine, taken from the hibernating weaklings who claimed them before. Then you humans, your warriors and your wizards, they came and they stole my land. They imprisoned me. They dared. Now, now I begin to take back all I have lost. I will kill every human in what you call Avernum, and I start with you. He walks towards you, claws out, drool runs down his face. He anticipates a delicious meal. Grahoth looks down at his wounds with interest. Blood. Mine. It has been so long. So long since I have been touched. I lost much power during my imprisonment. He uses his fingers to wipe up some of the green ichor that runs from his wounds and flicks it away. No matter. When I have consumed your strength, I'll be far along toward reclaiming my power. Then he shouts a word of command so deep and strong that the ground vibrates under your feet. Moments later, allies have appeared in the circles. Oh god, this freaking terrify effect. Let's go ahead and unshackle mine. Let's go ahead and take care of uh, skeletal people before we worry more about Grahoth. I meant to hit both of them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Your blows have actually caused Grahoth to stumble. He roars in pain and rage, disgusted with himself for his weakness. When I have devoured you, I will flagellate myself. I must be punished for being so weak before you. But first, victory. Come, my stunlings, come. More allies appear in the circles. Okay, again, that's going to be a matter of making sure his allies are dead before you attack him. Otherwise, he's just going to keep summoning. We're just going to do fire blast since uh, gazers are resistant to lightning attacks, such as arcane blow. summon I'm not worried about the quick gas too much but Okay, I am worried about that a little bit. Come on, no freaking stun. Freaking stun. Alright, you know what? Let's not worry about the raw hop yet. You gotta get rid of these ones right here. If you kept damaging off, then all these creatures would be fighting you at once. Come on, really? What is with the freaking stuns? Come on, kill some of these already. Stuns already. Get this fool. Why am I flued? <laughs> oh, Grahoth is so gonna be dead after we kill all, all these fools, though. Happened with a freaking slow effect. Come on, really? Really? What? 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 All right, let me go ahead and take this and then do this. Come 
Stop it with the freaking slowdown. Get back to my priest. We can't even use him yet because he's still charmed. We bailed our sorcerer out big time. Okay, come on. What do we have here? We can use. Come on, what can I use here? I know what I can use actually. I can use a battle frenzy. Two. Why are there two that, uh, oh, yeah, the battle frenzy definitely helps you. from being too slowed down so you still have some action points to use oh, through your terrify effect oh that's actually very convenient for her and she can inflict deep inflict demon slayer What do you mean, miss? Hit him already.
Graha self-control, never his strong suit to begin with, completely breaks. He screams in rage. Life start to, starts to pour out from his, out of his wounds as he begins to draw from his very life force to gain power. No more pets, he snarls. No more tricks. I will crush you. He charges at you like a bull, completely lost in berserk rage. Oh, forget your charm, too. Are you kidding me? We can't even inflict freaking damage on this one annoying thing because of that stupid thing. Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll kill it when our melee people snap out of it. See, they're completely immune to magic. Grohoff's back arches. He opens his fanged mouth and emits a deep, deafening roar. His half cry of agony and half desperate gurgle as his ravaged form attempts in vain to hold on to life. And then he falls. His massive body collapses to the ground. A moment later, it catches fire. You step back, shielding your eyes as his foul form burns away. The rock under his corpse bubbles and melts. Then, with the final cloud of sulfurous gas, Grohoff is gone. Dead. Avernum is rid of him forever. You look around. The tiny foul creatures gibbering in the corner have fled. The passages are quiet. Grahoff's demons are gone. You are victorious. Now all you need to do is get out of here alive. We will end combat as soon as uh, these other fools are dead. Oh, let's kill this thing already. It's annoying. Blessed armor band. Oh, yeah, that's very good. Well, that would actually be very good on our dual wielder, actually. We'll do that. We'll do that. I like the uh, one I have now. And we have access to Graha's treasure here. I wonder if we can crack open this barrier over here, though. Ah, that's bull. At least we do have a way out, though. That's actually good to just hang on to. In case we need it. Marksman Vest. That would be good if we had a melee user, but not. I mean, not a melee user, an archer. That doesn't really work good for a melee user. But of course we're going to take the Wisdom Crystal here, are you kidding me? Who was it that had the least XP again? Okay, could use it on either one of them, actually. We'll use it on, uh, Xander. A 
go ahead and drop that since we don't need it anymore. Yeah, we pretty much looted up. Let's go ahead and see what Tyro, Ty or Eric says. Ty or Eric or however you, yeah, I think that's it. I kept, I killed Grahoth. It laughs. That show him you do good. Bye. It disappears. That was an insane adventure, though. As you leave Grahoth's fortress, you look back one last time. Already changes are taking place. The black stone is starting to crack again. The ages of decay, decay held off by Grahoth's magic are catching up with a vengeance. The clouds of sulfur and smoke are fading and the gargoyles no longer look as sinister. As you watch, one of their heads falls off. The aura of evil and malevolence no longer supported by the fort's evil master is fading. You see shades rising above the fort. The spirits trapped by Grahoth have been freed. They can find peace at last. Avernum owes you a debt of great magnitude. Graha, tormentor of your nation since its founding days, is gone. Your people are safe from him at last. You look for a few more minutes, savoring your victory. Then you leave Graha's fort behind. You have completed the first of the three great quests of Avernum. Congratulations. Well done. And this is some pretty cool artwork. I wonder who did this. But yeah, this is the first of the three great quests here. You stumble into a demonic patrol, the horde of vicious creatures charging you instantly, desperate for the taste of fresh meat. Are y'all sure you want to fight me after what I just did? I mean, I'm trying to spare you all, but... But then again, they're demons, so what do they care, right? When you get close to the shade, it salutes you. Then it starts to fade away. In moments, it is gone. Oh, I wonder if that had anything to do with... Uh, what if that would have been a different encounter if Grahoth was still alive? Putrefied gauntlets. A lot of acid resistance. Get those freaking negative effects. Like, good lord. For all my stuff to be positive. Savage dried out body has has been propped against the wall here. A few since slain lava bats on the ground around it. There is a rusty sword on the ground nearby, and a metal flask hangs from a rotten leather belt. Everything else of use has rusted away. Nice, and we got an iron broad sword and vulnerability elixir. Nice. So I'm glad I have those invulnerability elixirs to come in handy there. You emerge from the passage and are greeted by Hellas Vision. This cavern is a blasted wasteland of mounds of pumice, volcanic ash, and sharp, jagged obsidian. The choking aroma of rotten eggs makes you feel faint. In addition to the sound of bubbling mud and venting steam fumaroles, you can also hear the hisses, howls, and roars of the creatures who live here. In the absence of humans, Nephilim, and Sulzerakai, flesh-devouring monsters have prospered. Oh, 
Oh, good thing is we took away the main threat already. I wonder if we can get that without, like, tripping that encounter. Alright, another invulnerability elixir. Give that to... Nope, give that to Ariadne. Because we don't need to fight everything. This is a dried up lava tube rising steeply away from the tumult below. As you climb, the tube gets steeper and cooler. It looks like this passage goes up quite a long way. It would be a difficult climb, but not beyond your abilities. You climb and keep climbing. Your excitement grows as the surface world gets closer and closer. You may have finally found an escape route from Avernum. Then suddenly the passage starts to shake. Blocks of pumice and basalt fall from the ceiling. You quickly climb back down and the shaking stops. You start up again and it starts again. You head back down in disgust. When you're almost to the bottom, there is an explosion above you. The passage seals itself. A magical trap has blocked another possible escape route. This cavern is a fetid swamp, full of huge pools of standing water grain with lichen and other flora. The heat from several fumaroles has created an environment where algae and slime can flourish. It's a fascinating sight, despite the filth and smell of rot. A light from the fungus on the ceiling, normally dim in these remote caverns, is bright here, giving you an excellent view of the harsh environment. There is a deep chasm here. It could be a valuable source of drainage for the stagnant cave. Unfortunately, the lip around its edge keeps the water in the cave from running off. Hot, moist air constantly rises from the pit, fueling the growth of the flora. The reek of rotten decay is almost overwhelming. In a truly dis charming display of futility, someone has left some sort of sign here. It has been, of course, worn into face to the point of total illegibility. Potion ingredients, got gray mold. Oh, nice. Got a ruin fort. You have crossed the narrow land of bridge over a large bu bu bubbling fumarole. It chokes the cave with a thick fog, reeking of rotten eggs. Some of the clusters of crystals near the edge of the bubbling mud look valuable. The heat keeps you from reaching most of the crystals. One of them looks like you could reach it safely. You move out into the steam and hot water and knock loose a large cluster of greenish crystals. As you leave, you notice you are being followed. It turns out that you were looting something's private vacation home. Oh, dang, have it. Freaking drakes, too. Nothing we can't handle, clearly. And that's just the way back to Erica's tower. Nice. Scroll power lash. Alright, I'm not worried about the piercing crystals because they're only going to be level 1 no matter what. Drake root. And sorry, I'm, I'm uh, sorry. I am pulling kind of around here uh, instead of going back and completing the mission, but I did want to explore all this here. Okay, that might come into play later. 
Come on, really? I wonder if that's like something over there where the, they were guarding, but I want to do avoid it. You encounter a wandering human wearing tattered robes. He is followed by several mindless sentinels. One look at him reveals that this harsh landscape has left him quite mad. It's amazing that he's still alive. When he gets close, he starts to rant out you. Came for the demon, I did. Came to battle Graha, but his mind, it touched mine. Oh, the power. Oh, the ancient knowledge. Now I see how wrong it is to fight him. How wrong it is for you to fight him. Tell me you will not. Tell me you will never defy his majesty. I will battle all evil and avert him until my dying day. Foolish adventurers, I will dispatch you as a mercy. Otherwise, Graha's torments will curse you eternally. You'll thank me later. The man waves his arms and sentinels that follow him lumber towards you. Uh, this fool does realize that they're he's Grahoff is dead now. I wonder if we could have no, nah, it looks like it wasn't written for him to realize that Grahoff was Grahoff is dead. And I'm really low on spell energy. I need to stop fighting so much and just get the mission done. Because no one does need recharge. Yeah, just be prepared to be frequently in combat in this game. Most of the time, most of the time you will have will be spent fighting, even though there is plenty of story. Come on, really? Give me, give me out of here already. You know, it would be a real shame to have one of my characters uh, die in an encounter like this, especially after we just beat Grah. <laughs> The mad dead wizard had an ivory wand in his hand. You take it. I don't really care for that one too much. I, I wouldn't do it. I can't have it on us anyway. Leave with this. This is not the okay. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, no, I don't want to face no lizards right now, and we can explore that later. I'm just trying to clear out the shading here. Okay, there is the... Right, found another cache. That one is a scroll for acid, acid shower. We need to just go ahead and complete this quest uh, before we do any more, like, exploring.
the first. Let's go ahead. And now nah, that was just nothing. Yeah, let's go ahead and head back now. So yes, Grahoth overall is a pretty tough fight, but the main thing you want to do is make sure you are killing his enemies, his allies that he summons, rather than entirely focus on him. That's why if you just keep damaging them, those enemies are just going to keep spawning like crazy. So yeah, you do want to take care of his allies as quick as you can before focusing on damaging him more. Finally, we got to boost our health. Wow. You know, now I think about it, probably wouldn't hurt to buy two levels of spells now. Point. First, let's go ahead and use our Wisdom Crystal on Ariadne. Let's go ahead and see what bonuses we get from that. After damage near foe, pets gets hasted. 20% bonus for lightning spray, which is pretty good. Did I buy two levels of the divine fire from here? No, I didn't. Go ahead and do that. Eventually, we'll improve both heal and math heal. Ten percent bonus. It looks like. But I do want to upgrade those healing spells soon. All right, enough dawdling. Let's go ahead and head back to the castle and report it. When you enter the throne room, King Micah looks relieved. You have returned, he shouts. You survived your expedition. As he stands and embraces you, three large sacks of coins are brought to you. Come and speak with me. Tell me of your adventures and of your victory over Graha. At last, Burnham's victory over him is complete. Our people may sleep easy at last. He returns to his throne and waits for your approach. I did it! Grahoth has been banished! Avernum is safe. Micah and the Royal Guard listen with great interest. You have done a great deed. I declare you to be commanders of Avernum. Eventually, fame and power will be assured to you. For now, I think it would be best if you continue to wander, seeing all the things Avernum has to offer and doing all the good deeds you can. Also, there is a powerful magical tome in my chambers. You should read it, and may help you. What should I do now? Wander Avernum, explore, talk to people, look for great deeds to perform. There is still much that can be done for our struggling land. If you have not already, try to contact the Scimitar. They are an unpredictable and dangerous organization, but they are on our side. They may achieve great things. You should also seek out Erica. She is a hermit now, but her loyalty to Avernum is unquestioned. You might be able to do much by working with her. Okay. Home in his chambers, huh? Okay, we, we were able to take those without being seen.
I think we're good at sell, sell and, and vulnerability potions now. The elixirs are better. There is a thick leather bound tome of magical knowledge on the pedestal. The words are painted gold on fine vellum. This valuable book must have been smuggled down from the surface. Prove arcane summon. Nice. Find retribution. Nice. Wonder Frone has different dialogue too after we killed Grahoth. I killed Grahoth. Yes, so I hear. You should speak to King Micah about it and receive his reward. Also, he has magical tome in his chambers. You should read it after speaking with him. It will reward you well for your efforts. Then he starts to look confused. Wait, I'm so sorry. I forget. What were you telling me again? You leave him to his work. You meet the chef of, chef of the castle, perhaps the finest food preparation specialist in all of Avernum. The moment she sees the hero of Vernum standing around, she drags you in and forces you to eat all manner of delicious treats. Great deeds have their rewards. Alright, so now that we killed... Grahoth, we can do the Black Drink thing. We can meet up with the Scimitar. We can also go see Erica. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and ask Erica about her plans for revenge. Actually, no. Let's head over to. To Koss Tower and clear up that quest finally. We'll check our reputation. Yep, true hero. We now have 50 reputation because of that. So yes, Wisdom of Koth here. You are at the bottom of a gigantic shaft rising upward far beyond the range of your light. A narrow ramp spirals up its sides. It is clearly ancient. It's too worn to tell whether it's natural or man-made. You climb and climb, daring to hope you might have found an exit from a vernum at last. Your hopes are dashed when you climb to a point where the stone of the shaft seems to have dripped and melted together, sealing you in with millions of tons of rock. You climb back down. All right, let's go ahead and explore over here to this cache. Rhonda, Rhonda, oh, that, that's something that she can use. After you approach this narrow land bridge, a crowd of spirits rise up in front of you, floating out of the solid stone of the gate floor. Each of them looks like an adventurer brutally killed years and years ago. They watch you, waiting for you to act. You approach the shades. One of them says, We are the doorkeepers of Koth. The mighty dragon beyond will consider allowing you to approach him. Pass beyond so that you may be tested. And do not steal like we did in our foolish lives, or your fate will match ours. The shades sink back into the stone. You may pass. All right, that was an exciting part. We defeated Grahoth, and we are now free to explore without any danger to Avernum. So with that in mind, I'm going to save it right here, but I'll see you all very soon with the next part.